The Green Bay Packers did not draft a single wide receiver. Many have been looking at this move as blasphemy from Gutekunst. They've been calling for his firing. They've been calling for Tom Grassi to be the GM. But there's a reason for this all happening. Because Brian Gutekunst has a secret weapon. Bagels. Reggie Bagleton. It sounds like bagels, so that's why I said... Crossy Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to an episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. I can't butter my bagels because I'm allergic. Grassy. And today we are going to be talking about the secret receiver, the unknown receiver, the man who I got a couple DMs when we uh, signed him to a future contract uh, in January, and then he never even played. And I was like, ah, no, it's probably nothing, and it's probably whatever. But now that, you know, we don't have any wide receivers, I thought it was time to give good old Reggie a good perusing. Before we get to that, I want to shout out a brand new patron, and that is Justin Heron. That's right. Join in the I'm not a Packers fan, but I guess you're fine tier. It's not what it's called, but I'm just going to change it up every time I say it. So, Justin, thank you for uh, supporting me. It is much appreciated. My dad doesn't, so <laughs> needs strangers on the internet, too. So, yes, Reggie Begleton, if you haven't heard of him before, because uh, the news about his signing was kind of under the radar. Uh, we, so we signed him uh, to a future contract January 6th of 2020. We actually signed him to a three-year $2.292 million deal. And you're like, Tom, that is not a lot of money at all. Well, he comes from the Canadian Football League. And from what I've heard, they pay their players in goose meat. So... That's a lot of goose meat. So yeah, we signed him. We never even used him uh, in January. And you're probably thinking like, the CFL, why, why, why are we signing Canadian football players? Well, let's take a look at, at what he has done over his career. So he went to Lamar College. Uh, he was the all-time leader in receptions and receiving yards after he left Lamar. He played three years with the CFL, nine games in 2017, only 22 receptions, uh, 304 yards and one touchdown. Uh, however, out of those yards, he had 154 yards after the catch. In 2018, he actually broke his arm after the seventh game, but still played seven games, 25 receptions, 488 yards, one touchdown, and 164 of those yards coming after the catch. And then in 2019, yeah, they played 17 games because Canada plays a lot of games, had 102 receptions out of 144 targets, over 1,400 yards and 10 touchdowns, 519 yards after the catch. He is only the fifth player in Canadian Football League history to record at least 100 receptions in a season. So you're like, oh, okay, now I'm intrigued. Now I'm interested. Well, he apparently had a ton of tryouts. He had one with the Saints. I believe he had some with the Vikings as well. He actually worked out or tried out with Antonio Brown. With Antonio Brown went to like the Saints to try out for like a hot second. He was like, wow, this guy is fast, but is also crazy. Uh, and then he wound up practicing or trying out with the Packers. And the Packers were like, let's get this guy on the team. So he signed him to a three-year deal. So what do we know about the bagel? Well, I looked at his highlights, of course. I was able to find a couple games, not a ton. And and what I noticed was I, I liked it. I actually liked what I saw. The guy doesn't have like tremendous speed, but the thing that I, I was focusing on was the yards after the catch. This is a guy who catches the ball and just takes off with it in that he could turn a 10 yard, uh, 10 yard pass into a 40 yard pass. And I think that his elusiveness and his slipperiness once he gets out into space, is I was, it really intrigued me. And I was a big fan of it. Guy obviously has a ton of yards after the catch. He had some impressive catches too. Wasn't afraid to go up and get the ball. Had beautiful cuts. Had a ton of people miss tackling him. 
On top of that, he was averaging about six catches a game. He also had five games over 100 yards in 2019. Looks like he definitely could play out of the slot, which, you know, we, we need someone to play out of the slot. So that wouldn't be too bad. He even had two quarterbacks in 2019 and was still able to be successful. Um, now, that being said, the big question, of course, is can he translate those skills to the NFL? Because Canadian Football League is, is quite different uh, from the, the NFL. And that's going to be the major, major question. I'm looking at this guy, and I'm thinking he's a potential great option. I think he's a potential sleeper to make the team. Uh, we'll we'll do a video breaking down like all our wide receivers um, sometime soon. But I wouldn't go to sleep on Reggie Bagleton. Obviously, if you don't have time to watch tape, go and watch his highlights. It's, it's not terribly long. And you'll see that elusiveness kind of on camera. And, and I think that that's, uh, that's something that we definitely need. Now he is turning 27 this year. Uh, they also listed him at the Packers listed him at six foot two hundred pounds, and the CFL was six two two oh five. I really don't care. Let's just cut the difference and let's just say that he's six one and two hundred and two and a half pounds. But he's not the biggest receiver that there is. But those stats are damn impressive from 2019. I think he shows a lot of promise. Obviously, it's going to be incredibly difficult to to transition from the CFL to the NFL. But I think. Uh, I think this guy could raise a few eyebrows in camp. He's not going to blow you away with his speed uh, or his power, but you know we we sometimes just need a guy out there to just make plays. And his yards after the catch are damn impressive. So I'm uh I'm not saying I feel better about our wide receiver guys that we have on there, but I'm going to be keeping an eye on Buttered Bagleton over here. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at TomGrassyComedy.com or at TomGrassyComedy on all social media. See down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the Patreon members over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy. But thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grassy. And as always, Go Pack Go! Go Pack Go!